Welcome to the Sportsman's Journal. I'm your host, Tyler Champion. I'm joined by my wife, Sarah, and we're up in northern Wisconsin, beautiful Vilas County, and we're gonna do a little ice fishing today. And today's episode is about catching some fish and also getting outside and having fun and introducing new people to the sport. It is. Um, we're going to give you some great tips, show you some of our gear that we're using um, on how to get people out that maybe you haven't, don't have a lot of experience on the ice and maybe you've had a little bit hard time coaxing someone to come out with you and we're going to give you some great pointers on how to get yeah. that person out. Um, Tyler had to do that for me several years back. That's right. One of our first dates ever was ice fishing back in Iowa. It was. And we had a good time. We caught lots of fish. It was. And you had to have lots of snacks. Yeah, snacks is key. So, Especially for you. <laughs> you like yeah, snacks. Yeah. So stay tuned. We got some great stuff. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Big fish friend. Yeah, I know. We just got out here and drilled our first couple of holes and we got bluegills all over oh, charging our electronics right now. And the thing is, especially on these, that's a nice fish right there. I was just about ready to say on these clear waters, oh. it's usually, that's a nice one. Yeah. An early good. bite and a late bite. So we're, that's a nice bluegill, Sarah. That's a good starter this, right there. Yeah. That did not take long. Oh my goodness. What do you got on just a wax worm and a jig head there? Yeah. That's a that's gonna be a heck Jeez, of a day. Look at that fish. Oh, he's active too. Well that's why I got him, I guess. Yeah. Right? Hungry. And northern Wisconsin has tons of these lakes and we chose this one because of the fact that it's got big bluegills. We're excited for yeah, those. Yeah, and this is not a very big lake, so throwing back the big ones is important. We're not gonna keep any today, but they are fun to catch. They're a lot of fun. I just missed one. These little lakes are relatively easy to fish because most of them are just a big basin. This one maxed out at 20 foot, so there's a lot of muck 20 foot bottom. And what we're doing is we're just fishing the first break. We're in 10 foot right now. So it kind of goes 10 foot, and then there's kind of a slow, steady taper down to 20. We're fishing right on top of that 10 foot ledge. And that's where these fish will start cruising in these early in the morning and late afternoon. They come up and feed up on this, on this flat. And that's what we're doing right now. And, we're missing a lot of fish. Yeah, Two in are. a row we just They're there. Missed. There he is. Better fish. Came up and whopped a jigging wrap. Feels good. Get the old deucer out of the way. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's over by you. So if you I'm out. If you're in there, you're gonna get tangled. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. They fight so good. Look at that. Oh that's love it. Oh, <laughs> That's a nice round fish. Yeah. A robust bluegill. Mm -hmm. I like it. They're so much fun to fight. Aren't they pretty? Putting up his dorsal fin. He's showing off. Great fish. Love it, love it, love it. We'll put him back. There we go. That guy came I up heard and pounded some it. Drag yeah, this on is a that nice one. one. This is another decent one here. Yes. Look at that tug. Well, I'm guessing it's a bluegill. He's doing the circles. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is bigger than the last couple, but I think it is. <laughs> oh, he's thick. Unreal. What a fish. That, <laughs> that's a good one. You know that they're giants when you can put them on your hand. Yeah. And they go all the way up past your wrist. Look at that. Make your hand is that a beast or what? There you go, honey. That could be doubles, huh? Do I need to get your well, thing out? Well, it is doubles, but oh, it is. That's a big one. You come squirting out. <laughs> wow. Woo. Hold them up there real quick. Look at the size of those bluegills. Oh. Are you kidding me? I tell you what, these little lakes up here in northern Wisconsin are. Some of them are hidden gems. You got to do a little research. That, yeah. <laughs> Check out the fishing forums. Fishing reports, stuff like that. That's crazy. That's awesome. Look at those fish. They're beautiful. Mine's but, getting a little hump on his head. Yep. Well, the big bulls. Oh, there's more the down there. Yeah. I gotta get that down there. It's important to throw these big ones back. I know people talk about catching these all the time, but it's 
especially with panfish. I know they're really good to eat, but uh-oh, there you go. We're talking about catch and release. That's good enough. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important to throw back, especially big bluegills. Get those genetics back in the That's lake. That's right. That's awesome. Let's get back down here. You got a big fish on your know, screen I'm... still. There's a lot of different flasher units out on the market. Um, and you can get aqua views, you can get ones with cameras and see what's going down. Um, we have a, a Vexlar flasher and um, it's really important when you got, I think when you have someone new out on the water yep. um, to help them see what's going on. Cause I know when I first started it, it was, if you sit out here and you don't know anything's on the bottom, you get a little frustrated, but if you can see the marks, it's, it's comparable to a video game. Yeah, it maybe. makes it a lot more fun, more entertaining. Mm -hmm. Um, it's pretty simple to, to use. You just turn it on. You can use um, different modes with um, depth if you're in really deep. I just have it on times one because we're not that deep and then your gain is what's going to pick up your your bait. So if you have a small jig head on in deep water, you're going to want to increase that gain. Yep. But the lower your gain is, the less interference you're going to pick up. So, um, But it's really important when you're starting out with someone on the water to get them a, a decent, something to give them the ability to see the fish down there yeah. and it just and keeps bait, them see what's going on yeah it just keeps you motivated to sit out on the ice because sometimes you can get a little cold yeah and then you might get a little frustrated especially a, a new fisherman oh sarah got one. Oh, i thought i lost him but i didn't is he a big one? Oh wow that's a dandy he's an orange one He's a orange one. He's a pretty one. He's got purple and orange and all sorts. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is a nice bluegill, hon. Thank you. Ooh, 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 <clears throat> that is a ooh, big fish. Ooh. Owie. Got me. That's awesome. The bug and the worm. Does it get any better than that, huh? No. Except for my hook scents are so good. It takes Look me a minute thing. to get those out. He's pretty. Perculum right there. Mm -hmm. That is... Nice when they come up like that, isn't it? All right. Nice fish. Thank you. Whoop. That's a dandy gill. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. There he goes. He missed his There he goes. He's gone. <laughs> he got a little excited. The bite has slowed down just a tad here. And I'm looking around and I think I might, I might do some hole hopping, Sarah, see if I can find these, find the fish again, see where they're going. Okay. I'm not leaving a good thing. You're going to stay? Yeah. I like that. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. But, uh. Just in case, leave me the eye on. You know what? I'll leave you the eye on and I'll leave you the hummingbird. And I'll Ooh. take the Vexlar and Old Blue. <laughs> that, kind of yeah. <laughs> I'm a good guy. Yeah. I'm thoughtful mm -hmm. and always looking out for you. That's nice of you. All right, sounds like a plan. You stay here and keep, keep banging gills. There's one just down there, just scoping it out. There he is. Ooh, look at that bend. There's some good pull on that. Man, these, ooh, this is a better fish. Yeah. Ooh, this could be, this could be a bass here. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot better. Look at that. Boy, I tell you what, they're fun on these rods. Oh my gosh, look at this bass. Who says? that these small lakes don't have big fish. Are you kidding me? What a fish. That might be the biggest largemouth bass I've ever caught in my life, folks. That fish right there, that's a seven pound largemouth. Oh my goodness. On the All Star 31 by Kramer Custom Rods. We were talking about how it can handle bluegills. It can handle big fish. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Through the ice, I don't care where you are in the United States and Canada, that is a big largemouth bass through the ice. Wow. Wow. Kramer Custom Rods, baby. Unbelievable. What a fish. And look what I got it on, folks. That tiny little jig. Look at that. Tiny now. Big for gills. Tiny for bass of this size. What a fish. Are you kidding me? Dang. I'm pretty happy with this one, folks. 
I'm getting this fish back, everybody. I cannot believe the size of that largemouth bass. That is awesome. These, these are hidden gem lakes up here, guys, in Vilas County. Vilas County, Oneida County, anywhere up in the Northwoods. You just never know what you're gonna catch up here. We're gonna put her back. What a fish. Put her back. Woo! That was fun. And we cannot say it enough. One of the most important tools you have on soft water, hard water, is your rod. And folks, this is a great testimonial for Kramer Custom Rods. Buy one, get one, any way you can get one. Have a family member buy one, call Eric, have him make it exactly what you want. You're gonna catch so many more fish, I guarantee it. And you're gonna catch a lot more big fish too. Unbelievable. Yes! One of the best memories that Sarah and I have on all these fishing trips is that we get to do them together. That is, that is nice. Isn't that? <laughs> that's the best part about it. I mean, catching the fish and teaching people how to catch fish and places we visit, that stuff's all awesome. But being together is doing it with your best friend, <laughs> wife, girlfriend, sister. It's important to get the ladies involved in this stuff, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's the women are becoming a lot more involved in fishing. You're seeing a lot more um, women geared products out mm -hmm. there. And that's something that's, that's really nice to see. I know when I first started fishing, you couldn't find a lot of woman based products, even like clothing, you yeah. know, it was all men, it didn't fit right. Um, and, and even now, like today, the electric auger, yeah. something that I can handle yep. on my own. I can bring it out, I can carry it, I can use exactly. it. Exactly. It's, it's really nice. So they're, they are gearing a lot more products towards women and that's really nice. And ice fishing is something that you don't need a boat to do. You can nope. come out on the ice, just make sure the ice is safe and, exactly. and that someone knows where you're fishing, but you can come out on the ice by yourself and, um, you know, you get some electronics or, you know, maybe you know, just to have a bucket and a rod and that's how you start. Exactly. And get ready. That one came charging up. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what was that for a hook set? <laughs> you might as well just open the container of wax runners and dump them down the hole. There you go. Do you need my help on him? I don't know. Oh, shoot. You got, you, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Can you get him up? Oh boy, he's a nice one. Holy cow. Are we you still wrapped there? Yeah, we got a little bit of a debacle here. Yeah, got way too much. You got your too much transducer down the hole, guy. All right, ready? That's a really nice gonna, bluegill. Okay. Holy cow. I'm going to try to pick him up this way. He's not cooperating. All right. There we go. That bluegill yeah. has some weight behind That's him. That's a big fish. That has. It's a dandy. He's thick. Holy moly. I just love junk food. Whoop. Bunion down. Whoever thought to come up with onion ring chips and call them bunions. Genius. I'd like to see them. Ooh, there you go. I got, you got it? Nope. Oh, bad, bad communication there. That one came up and really rocked it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's doing circles. Oh yeah. Oh, doing boy. some circles. Oh wow. It's another nice one. Look at that. Gill right there. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love it. Pop them off there. Isn't that a good one? Wow, look at that. Pretty. Uh oh. Dubs. Dubs, nice. Let me get the. Oh, oh yeah, he's wrapped. Oh, wow. That's a monster. That's a pretty. He's wrapped around here. Yeah, I see that. You're larger. Pretty purple. There you go. Female, maybe. That's a nice huh? one. Hold that one up here. Let's take a look. There we go. Two nice gills. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is so much fun. That is fun. Look at that. When they just come rolling through like a pack of wolves. Yeah, they do. And all of a sudden, yeah. ooh, there's your screen. Light Pretty. up. Light up like a Christmas tree. Oh, does not want to give up the Doesn't want to give up the, wax. the waxy? No. <laughs> no. Worked hard back. for that. 
There we go, bud. Let's get back down there. Nice job, Sarah. Thank you. Just gotta pop this hook out. Now you gotta open your mouth. There we go. That's a nice one. Look at that. It's a that, good nine incher right there. That is a really nice fish. <laughs> You're cheating though. Why? You got, got white bait on. You got oh, wax worms. You give the fish what they want. Oh, that's true. Not cheating. It's However, being there's one down here right now and he wants. That's what I'm saying. He wants your soft plastic. plastic. Yeah. Look at. Oh yeah, he definitely wants. He's looking at it pretty hard. Right on schedule. Right on schedule. You got oh, one? Wow. Oh, wow. This is a battle right here. This is a good fish. Oh Should my I... goodness. Jeez. Do you already do you have me? I might have your line. This you guy do. is this guy is taking control here. This is a nice gill, I think. Oh yeah, how look at that. Wow. Holy cow. That right there is a beautiful bluegill. It is oh, your cow. day on the ice, isn't it? Yes. I'm having a ball. <laughs> look at that. They don't get much prettier than that no, either, do they? beautiful. That's awesome. That's awesome. Get that out of there. Got them on the soft plastic, Sarah. Yeah. And that's a damn Still not convincing me to change. No? No. That's awesome. Love it. Beautiful fish. Get him back. There he goes. All right. Oh, they're chasing you a little bit there. Mm-hmm. That's a good sign. <gasps> They are just destroying me right now. Oh, here comes one charging me. Oh, wow. That guy came up and pounded. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at that guy. Wow. He's feeling some drag. Yes, he is. Good thing. Maybe it's a good thing I might yeah. not down there. Yeah. <laughs> Silver lining for missing right there. <laughs> he needs that I appreciate up, that. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get eyes on this guy. Well, he feels good. I, I'm using one of Eric's new rods this year. Oh, wow. Another, oh, my look goodness. at that fish, guys. Oh my goodness. Is that not a beast? Wow. That fish right there is awesome. What a dandy bluegill. That's a mounter. That's a big one. That's mm -hmm. a 10 incher right there. Yeah. Holy cow. I was just about ready to say, I'm using Eric Kramer's, Kramer Custom Rods, brand new ice stick he's making. It's a 33 inch ultralight and he's calling it the all-star magnum. And Do you need the pliers? No, I got her. And that rod catches magnum fish. Look at that bluegill, isn't that awesome? We've caught lots of these today. It's been, a, it's been an epic day. <laughs> uh, when you throw in a seven and a half pound, eight pound bass on top of it through the yeah, ice. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. I'm having a good, uh, having having some... a good day. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. But it's important to throw the big ones back, so we're going to put him, put him back in there. It's awesome. You just can't stop looking at him. No, I can't. There he is. Sarah, that's another nice one. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's taking control. Jeez, he's this, showing is, this you. is so much fun. Especially on the longer ultralight rod like this. Oh, I saw a flash. Look at that Oh, one. my goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is back-to-back -back giants. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Let's see if I can cup in there nicely. Look at that. Huh? Wow. I can't get enough of that. They're loving the... You got a spoon on? No, I got a one-inch... It's a Northland impulse minnow. One-inch impulse minnow. And it's white. Just that little thing there, but look at that beast. Unbelievable. Awesome. Put him back. Dang. They're so much fun. Yeah, they are. Nice job, Sarah. Thank you. Oh. Tangled in the lar again. Oh, that lar. That's another nice one. Is... You got him? Yeah. Get him out of there. Oh, that's a good bluegill, Sarah. Jeez, Ooh. Pete's. Beautiful These fish. These are so much fun. Light line, little tackle, big bluegills. That's a nice one. It's quite the date night. It's quite the date night, that's right. <laughs> Aren't I a good planner? Did you plan this? Yeah, I planned this. <laughs> good fish. There, he goes back down to his home. He wants Mr. Impulse. Got him? Yeah. Double, look at that. Oh. It's a pretty one. That's a nice one. Is. Oh, I got, I got, I got. Oh my gosh, I got a feisty one. I got a big one. 
This thing is going crazy. You got a big one. Oh, in well, he's not huge. You know what? He's not a giant. Oh, he's so. But he's pretty. <laughs> he's still. Pretty. He's not small. He's still pretty nice. But from the ones we've been getting. Oh it's, my. Has it been a day to remember well, or what? Don't keep your food on your face, there, buddy. Another double. I don't know how many we've had today, but yeah. it's been an epic day. It has. <laughs> it's been amazing. And the doubles look like this. I know. The I doubles mean, are all eight-inch bluegills. That's crazy. Plus a huge bass, which I'm super excited about. It yeah. was awesome. Uh, I'm going to remember this day for a long time. Yeah, it's it's been a great trip. It has been. Everybody, thanks for watching the Sportsman Journal this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you can, try to get someone out in the outdoors for the first time. It'll be something they'll remember and have memories for a lifetime. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on the Sportsman's Journal. Let's put these back. Can't get enough of the Sportsman's Journal? Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Also check out sportsmanjournaltv.com. Hey, you just gotta visit Sunset Country.